and you just hop a fence and you go exploring them. <laughs> Is our faithful horse Sparky. So we're back at the horse of Jockey. We we're, we're, we're sipping on a few pints of uh, the black stuff. Yeah. Um, a few too many, maybe. What am I doing back in Ireland? What am I doing here? All right, well, we are here reuniting again with the long lost relatives I found last time I was over here last year. Uh, but my dad wasn't with me. My dad is with me this time. So. This whole trip, we are, we're basically spending four weeks passing through Europe. We're starting off here in Ireland, well, start off in England, now we're in Ireland. And uh, yeah, we're reuniting with uh, potential family from 180 years of separation. example of a what's called a dolman and uh, these were these things are about 7,000 years old they back to 4,000 BC and they were used in the Neolithic period they were used apparently they believe they were used as places of burial or places of worship and to this effect but these are basically the ancient Celts the ancient Druids in Ireland would construct these things Here's our faithful horse, Sparky. He's pulling our jaunting car today. And our driver, John. John, yes! <laughs> Expert guide here. <laughs> Which lake? This is called the Serpent Lake. Okay. This is actually where St. Patrick drowned the last snakes in Ireland. That's part of his legend. Yeah, yeah. We've no snakes, just, well, we have a couple in our government only. <laughs> he needs to drown a couple more, I think. Yeah. Just making a quick stop into Ross Castle on our current uh, jaunting car tour around Killarney. Last night we went to see this place called Paddy of the Mills and there's this bar, tiny tiny bar in the middle of Tipperary, which is only open one night a week, it's only open Thursday nights from about 7.30, 8 o'clock, something like that. And it's owned by uh, this, this gentleman and his wife and him and his four daughters play music all night. And they've got a tiny little bar and a tiny little sitting room and another tiny little sitting room where they play music and it is the most uniquely authentic old school Irish experience you could possibly come across. This is another one of the wonderful things about traveling through Ireland is you'll find all these old abandoned keeps just strewn throughout the countryside and you just hop a fence and you go exploring them. So the ship behind me is called the Dunbrody, or well, it was a replica of a ship called the Dunbrody, which was a basically a famine ship that sent immigrants from Ireland to the New World, to America and Canada. And it actually was built in Canada. This thing used to ship goods from the, from the New World, from America, basically timber, cotton, that kind of stuff to Ireland, where the wealthy people here would buy it and start industries and stuff. And when they got here, the famine hit, basically. The year this thing was built, the famine hit here in Ireland. And a combination of, well, one, a bunch of people died because they couldn't afford to feed their families because the potato blight happened. Two, you couldn't, couldn't grow potatoes anymore on the land, so, because they're all dying from the blight. So, the uh, wealthy landowners, who were mostly British, uh, I think probably predominantly British, and probably predominantly Protestant too, actually, they basically would either kick the tenants off their land entirely, or they would pay the tenants to leave, and they'd pay them in the form of paying their passage to the New World on one of these ships to uh, start afresh. They would cram about two to three hundred people 
well, at least two, at least 290 people on that boat at a time. You'd be on, not on that boat for about 50 days. And you'd only get 30 minutes if you're in the, of like the regular person class, which is basically the majority of those people, second class, kennel class, you only get 30 minutes of sunshine a day. You could come up on deck, cook your food, throw out your waste bins, your, your waste buckets where your vomit or your, 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 your shit is, and then you're back down again below deck for the rest of the day, 50 days at sea like that, to get from Ireland to the New World. I have never in my life seen 